Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Wait. Let me get this siren turned off so we can uh, I need to grab ourselves a thing. Backpack and find some. The only working car in the base crashed into a tree. Okay, there we go. Sirens off. Go back upstairs here. So this is Neil R. We're again in First Look Wednesday. Welcome to the fun. This time we're going to play Zombie Piercer. So, Zombie Piercer is a, a survivalist uh, zombie apocalypse type of game. The difference is, is your construction and everything is done on a train. I should train. grab whatever supplies are here. And try yeah, yeah. Um, so, we, we will find a train, car, train with a, a train cars on it and we'll be able to build on that. But this first town is a base, basically. And if you, very beginning, there was a, a little intro text. You can pause and read that if you want. Uh, but the the premise is, is all the survivors gathered in this town and it just got overran by zombies so now you need to survive so we're going to start out and look through find all kinds of stuff so there's some work boots we can wear some ammo uh, I thought there was a quickie here I'm not finding it though uh Oh, that just closes. Okay, we'll do it by one by one. Okay. I thought there used to be one, so there is a backpack. So we can right click and equip the backpack. And our backpack here basically, we have up to 40 kilograms that we can carry, which is not a lot. Now we get a baseball bat and we get a first aid kit. And we get a knife. So that's some nice stuff. Get some bandages, some painkillers. Oh, a flashlight. Oh, so we're getting a few items. I think it's, yeah. The looting of the door is all the drawers. Some potatoes, some drinks, some first aid. And additional food and stuff. Okay. All kinds of good stuff. And that looks like everything. Yes. So... That gets us started off. So let's go ahead and put a, a dagger and our bat in. That's really our first starter weapons. We will be able to get some additional weapons and enhancements of these as we go down. I am going to go ahead and put the first aid and uh, scrap flashlight on. Um, now, what I don't like right now until we get the helmet, uh, the flashlight is in your hand. Uh, you can add it to a helmet, I believe, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I played it, but uh, it used to be you could add it to a helmet. You can add it to certain guns. So we will, we will go from there. And you have to excuse me. I have a cat here that's wanting to chew on my uh, headset cord. you got to love that. I need to stop that. So with that, let's get ourselves going. So... We'll go ahead and we'll see if there's anything else to loot. I believe everything is pretty much in that first room. There might be a few things. So it's more painkillers. And if you right click items, it'll go into. You have to shift right click and it'll go into your inventory immediately. I knew there was a quick loot or quicker loot. So we got some painkillers and stuff. And I'll try to get to the train as quick as I can. We won't necessarily leave this area with the train because there's a lot to gather, including fuel. With the train, you have to keep it fueled up. And so you start out with some in there, but there is still more. So there is a, a note about the, the bow, and I can read it. Matthew, stop taking my bow when I leave on duty. I locked it in the pantry and have the key with, pantry and have the, took the key with me. We don't need to keep that with us. So the pantry is talking about is over this way. So this is the pantry. And it is locked. The key is easy to find. It's right outside in a, a building right outside. So we'll, we'll potentially get that this walkthrough. We'll grab a couple more items here. One thing nice is if you loot, open something up, it'll let you know if it's empty or if there's stuff still in it. So you can see where you've been. Nice to get some drinks. 
Now you do have a health meter and a stamina meter up here at the top right here. Um, I think there's also a character. Oh, that tells you so. Right mouse button and shift will move one item at a time. F takes all, so there's an F key, okay? And shift and drag will split an item. Uh, let's see, is it C for character? No. Uh, I'll have to... Well, that's our time. Nice old, old Casio watch. I used to wear those watches all the time. I uh, thought there was a character screen. I know there's a character screen. Oh, let me see. Let me look at the notes. Okay. G key. It brings up your equipment so you can see. You can get a helmet, breast armor, uh, bag, shoes. I'm level one with uh, a lot more to go. And as you raise up, you can increase your different areas. And that's where you see your hunger, your thirst, and your tiredness. Now, we can take apart all these chairs once I get the right equipment. I just don't have that equipment right now. Uh, once we get to the train, we'll be able to build that. And that's why I say there's a lot to do in here because you got to take apart all these chairs. There's barrels out here we'll have to take apart. So, control key crouches. And you should be able to sneak up on some of these zombies. Now, these zombies are different than the old zombies. It used to be the zombies looked like little aliens, to be honest with you. I, I thought it was more of an attack of the aliens originally versus zombies. But they've, they've improved all the zombie models. I didn't quite kill him in the first shot. Okay. And they will drop stuff that you can loot at times. Uh, I want to take these guys out. I just... He's walking, so that's going to be fun. Try to sneak up on him. That's why it is, it's space bar. Oh, get out of there. One problem with stamina, you will run out of stamina. Stamina. And gotta stop not... Gotta let my stamina get back up. There we go. You gotta get used to that jump back method. Takes a little bit of practice. I'm out of practice on it, that's for sure. Now, I'm not getting good at these sneak ups, but I'm gonna try again here. Oh, that's a little bit better. So the train we want, it's way over there. That one has blood around it, so oh, normally when there's blood around it, they're dead. So he wasn't dead. Uh, those, those there will explode, so you gotta be cautious. Okay, whew. Taking a little bit of a beating, but not real bad. Now, I know we're going to get into heavier zombies with padding and everything. I wish I could get this sneak one to work a little bit better. Now, you can go the long way around out through here and fight a bunch of zombies, or you can kind of sneak through this way. You just got to be cautious when you're going through this way. There's one there, there's a couple there, there's one passed out there. Let me see if I can sneak up on this guy. Not doing too good with this.
Okay, that's not doing too good. So let me do a bandage here. See how we do there. That helps us. We'll let that bandage up. Uh, I've done sneak attacks before. I'm just not getting lucky with them at all this time. So blue barrels, you can, when you get the wrench, you can basically scrap those into metal pieces, which is very good. I'll try this again. Got to make sure you have your retic reticle on. <laughs> guys on the other side I keep waking up they haven't found their way around here so that's good so we can loot about everything electrical parts I'll be good for later I'm gonna go ahead and put this grenade in. try to take them out with one blow there we go Exploding barrels you gotta watch out for. But we took care of that cop, I think. You did? Um Okay, you're already dead, that's good. So these cops in padded armor, they're a lot harder to kill. I'm going to get this down right sooner or later. Not like that. There we go. We leveled up. So we'll go back in here. And I think right now I want my strength a little higher. That increases my damage with the both melee and bow, as well as uh, reduces weapon recoil. So I think that's what I want right now. Stamina just makes it so you run longer, health points, and stealth. Stealth might be good too for attacking, but we're doing okay. So let's go ahead and let's loot some more here. And I can't remember if there's a front and back. Yes, there is a front and back, so. You want to check both sides of all vehicle. There's a gas can. Told you we needed gas. That's a full gas can. That'll be nice. Uh, let's see. We can do the bus here. More kinds of electrical parts. That's good. Let's see, there's some wood. Metal scrap. That's good. About everything is lootable, and quite a bit of stuff is you can deconstruct. Um, you want to do all kinds of looting. You're going to need everything you can get. It does mean some of the times they, the games can take a little bit to get out of a specific town. But there are small little POIs basically. So we have this town we're in. There is a, a building on the outside of this. And then some paths we can go up and down and look at things. Um, but it's not real bad. Hey, come on, buddy. Down to build back up. There we go. So I'm getting better at taking them out. Now I'm going to go in here. This is the building where the key is, if I remember correctly. Like I said, there's a gas station over there. We'll be running back and forth to get gas at some point. But we want to go ahead and loot some of this stuff. There are guns in here, so you'll get a revolver and machine gun. Huh, I thought this was where the uh, he was. Huh. I have not found the key yet. It's on. Huh, okay, we're going to have to look a little bit farther. I, I swore the key was in here last time. 
missing something? Interesting. Oh, well, the key has been moved. And I haven't seen anything drop from anybody. Okay, well let's go look out check out the train and then we'll we'll look around. It might be in that building there. Let's uh let's take care of this zombie here. Hey buddy. How you doing? Oh, Ooh, that was a spectacular uh hit. Let me look in here, it might have been in this building. Yeah, there it is. Said if you use the F key, that'll loot everything out of the building room. And I'm getting 28 out of 7, so I'm still doing pretty good on weight. Um, let's go check the train out, unload real quick. So this is the train. This is the back end of the train. And the front end of the train. And you actually get to drive the train, basically. So you have ignition, forward and reverse, brake, speed, and there's a little workbench. So we can make that scrap hammer, the scrap wrench. And as you see, they take uh, some scrap metal to do. This takes a couple. A scrap shovel, workbench, and then that is the more advanced workbench, and a metal workbench. So these are things we'll be able to craft. There's also some basic storage here. This can only hold 20 grams. So you can put things in there you don't need to start out with. Let's see. I'll go ahead and put as much as I can in here. Go ahead and do one little hill with that just to get it bumped up a little bit. Okay, so the gas can, how that works, is on the side of the train here. There is a, a gas tank area, and you can put this in your hand, and then go up, and you get an empty gas can. That empty gas can is good for filling back up with more gas. I'm going to go ahead and keep it on me for the moment. We're going to go get that bow, and then... Uh, Oh, while I'm in there, let me do this real quick because this will be important. <sighs> Out of stamina. All kinds of things to loot here too, and I probably ought to loot all this too. See if I can get a wrench built as well. There's some wood. We're going to make a wrench here in a second. Now, zombies will beat on doors and try to break into them. Sometimes they're successful. Uh, sometimes they're not. Let's see. Let's go back in here. Go ahead and grab the wood and metal parts. And when we come over here, we can build a hammer. Okay, now I can put that up there. Carpenter workbench, I still need some more scrap metal, so I need to grab some more of that. I haven't found a lot, but we'll find some as we're going out and about here. I woke up a zombie on one of the doors there. No biggie. There is an upper level and a lower level area. But let's go ahead. We'll go grab that bow. We'll try to get a little bit more metal together. I think we might actually get some in here. We need the workbench to create enough arrows. So you actually have to put the key in your hand. Unlock the door. And then you get, oh, we do get 10 arrows. That's good. And there's the bow. So I'm going to go ahead and move that down there. Adjust everything over. I'm going to keep that too. Put that there. Put the bow up. 
there is a record player you can create later so you can have music granted i have all music off so you probably won't be able to hear any of it nothing in that wall cabinet there's some medicine there some food all good there and then you can basically right click and hold and you disassemble this and that will give you wood um I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to go ahead and knock all these out and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I broke down all those chairs. doesn't take a lot. Nice to pick up that pan and use it for something, but that's okay. Is that just a picture or something behind it? Nope, just a picture. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see if we can find a little scrap metal around over here. Uh, important to get as much as we can. Okay, that's right. With the bow, you have to hit the R key to reload it every arrow. So let's see if I can hit this guy. And that has a drop on it. There we go. The arrows do break some point times. Um, I saw I missed the first a couple times there too. But it, it's not too bad, and they do break sometimes when they hit back there too. Getting some metal though, so that's good. I do like the arrow, just because you can stay away from them. Uh, but you have to make a lot of arrows, so I want to get to a point where I can build the workbench so we can make more arrows. There is a guy right there. Two hits. Not bad, not bad. And both arrows were saved. Cool. Let him go up. That's one of the guys I think I aggravated. And see, I've, I've hit my limit of weight. So let's go ahead and go back to the train. And the re biggest reason is we can unload that. We can make a few things. And then load back up some more. Now we need to make a bed at some point as well. Especially for a long term run. And I'm just doing the first 30 minutes here. And if everybody likes it, I may come back. It is not a bad looking game for a single developer or a small developing stool. I think it's single developer on this one as well. He does do regular updates and the new zombies and some stuff is a very recent update. And so it's, it's a really good, fun game. It's it kind of different having it on the train, um, going from town to town and collecting resources and building more and more items. So let's see. I have enough for a carpenter workbench and a wrench. So let's first let's uh, unload a few things just to get some space. I keep the scrap on me. I don't need bullets still. I don't need cloth at the moment. And we don't need that key probably ever again, but we'll hang on to it just in case. So let's make an adjustable wrench. And we can use this to take apart the blue barrels and some metal chairs. So we'll put this in our inventory as well. I'll put it up with the flashlight. I'm going to keep the flashlight on because we may go into dark. Let's build the carpenter's workbench. And we'll go ahead and put this here and then put it up here. And now we'll... There are lights on this train so you can turn on the light switch back here. And that will help give you a little light back here. But let's go ahead and put our workbench in and we're just going to set it about right here. And then you actually have to put it together with 
uh, either a hammer or a wrench, depending on what it is. Uh, workbenches, uh, anything out of wood, you usually use the hammer. Uh, for windows and storage cabinets and stuff, some of those require you to use the wrench. So there we go. So now this is everything we can work on. There is a modified baseball bat where you can use a scrap metal and make a modified baseball bat which I'm going to do that you got to have it in your inventory it can't be in your heart bar but this is a really nice quick add-on for weaponry and because I had the wrench I know I'm gonna get plenty of scrap metal here um, I need to get more scrap metal to make the metal bed so we're gonna work on that go ahead and go back down here I don't know if I can go out this door yet or not. Yes, I can. Okay. He's already dead. Hey. So, like I said, make sure no one's walking that way. Nope. So, now I can open this up. You can also pick me up and carry them, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And there we go, two pieces of scrap metal. That's it, let's make a bunch of noise. Like I said, I made a bunch of noise. Oh, dang, missed. Uh, one shot, missed. Did break an arrow. Um, I have four arrows left. I'm going to go back real quick, make some more arrows. I think I have enough to make some arrows. Arrows, yes. Yeah. So let's uh, make 12 more. Oh, 24. I forgot it's 12 per, so that makes a lot of arrows. So the way we're going through them, we're going to need them. There we go. Now, they do weigh 5.2 kilograms a piece, so you, you do want to watch your weight when you're doing this. So I can't put any more into that. So I need to go ahead and make another chest. So let's see, what do we need for a chest? Need more scrap metal. Just out of curiosity, how about the, this? Oh, that's maybe what I want to get is the, the shelves. Those are kind of nice. Let me go ahead and grab some more scrap metal out here. Oh, come on down here, buddy. There we go, that's what I should be doing all the time. I'm trying to do this without getting him uh, aggroed, but I think he's going to come here. Maybe not. There he is. He has a little bit of a head bob you got to watch out for. Now, one thing nice, I think they changed that. You don't have to reload every time on the arrow. It does uh, automatically reload if you've loaded it with arrow. So that's kind of nice. That's just that first time you have to load it. That's a change. It used to be you had to do it every time. Okay, it is getting dark. So we're going to head back, we're going to do a couple quick more builds for you so you can see. And you see there is a little light here. So first thing first, let's go ahead and create a bed. And then we're also going to create a wooden shelf. And you can queue things up so you can have multiple things being built. First off, let's uh, put this bed down. I'm going to 
for now set it here and then of course you still have to build it with your hammer there we go we now have a bit that built and then we're going to put in the storage area I might have it backwards but we'll, we'll build it this way and I can always rotate it I believe later on you can get better hammers once you get into forging uh, metals and stuff. Um, you also, I believe, find some out there as well. And a couple more hits. There we go. I guess I did put it the right way. Cool. So what's nice about the shelf is I can take and set stuff on to it. And you can actually see it without having to open up. So if you, you put some stuff someplace and you don't matter where you put it. This is a quick way you can quickly look. And you, it'll stack up multiple groupings. So that's kind of nice. But with that, that is the first 30 minutes. Enough to get the train started and get us moving forward a little bit. I um, hope you liked what you've seen. Um, if you did, please leave a like button new to the channel hit the subscribe and leave a comment if you want to see more of this I, i'll be willing to play a little more of this at some point in the future but this will give you a good idea of what to expect and some of the challenges that arise in it so with that i will see you on the next one